I'm Brienne. My name is Lori. My name is Cammie. And we're here to share our experience and our journey with epilepsy and the ups and downs and the road to recovery. She had a little seizure here and there before it was you know not as bad and she was young and didn't didn't even know but as she got older it was she would wake up from her seizure and be in the hospital with IVs I would have to call the paramedics I mean she it was bad we couldn't get it to stop her brain was not floating in her skull anymore it was just there and so every time she would seize it would compress her brain So we decided to take that road and do this surgery and it was a total craniotomy. I mean, it was just the right temporal lobe. It was about a four inch diameter. They wanted to just remove basically the whole right temporal lobe. Any type of surgery, including brain surgery and neurosurgery, has the risk of side effects. With the brain, there's obviously much more serious side effects that are possible whenever you're dealing with the brain. Unfortunately, sometimes with surgery of any type, you can have an infection or you can have bleeding as a complication. Those are things that happen during surgery or immediately after surgery, and those can be very serious. And sometimes the blood vessels also go into spasm during surgery, and that can result in a stroke. And it's a very, very difficult and dangerous place to do surgery. While we're waiting for a date for the surgery, and I get a call from Dr. Wafong, and they had a told me that there was a procedure that they would like to try on her that she qualified for. This new technology called stereotactic laser ablation allows us to place a laser probe that's very, very small. It's about the size of a lead of a pencil through a tiny opening in the skull. And the catheter can safely be passed through normal brain tissue without hurting the tissue. In the MRI scanner, we can turn the laser on and precisely define how much of the abnormality we want to remove and uh, do it and we're literally destroying the tissue at the speed of light. No other technology is available today that allows real-time accuracy like we have with this procedure. We got a date of August 20th, 2010, it was going to be the day. We went up the night of the 19th and <sighs> nervous and ready and we got up that morning and went and checked in the hospital and got her set up and kissed her beautiful cheek and told her I'll see you when you wake up. It took about, I'd say about four hours, five hours, um, you know, I'm pacing, pacing, pacing and they came out and said, we're done. She's great, she's in recovery and I see you, let's go. I walked in and she's just kind of looking around. I said, hi baby. She said, mama, I'm hungry, I want french fries. I knew it. I knew she was, I knew I had my baby and that she was good to go. She said, how does it look? And it was like amazing, you know? She still had her beautiful hair and her beautiful face and she was angelic as could be and I you know I just it's like you fall in love with your child all over again. You know I wear the shirt that says no fear because that just it's just her man. She's just amazing. My mom is my hero. Aww. I am you're mine. I'm proud that my strong child who's been through hell and back got the opportunity to have this done and came through it and is proof that miracles can happen.